Hi, my name is Daniel Jones and I'm with Odyssey Battery. And today, we're gonna to learn how to properly charge and test this Odyssey Extreme TPPLAGM battery. A lot of folks know this battery is a thin plate pure lead absorb glass mat battery, and that's exactly what it is. We'll step through a few initial procedures such as testing our open circuit voltage with our digital multimeter to ensure that our voltage is high enough to begin testing with our approved battery tester. From there, we'll step through a half-load CCA test with our carbon pile tester, and finally, we'll go ahead and finish up and charge our battery with our Odyssey shop charger. Stick with me for about the next five minutes, and I'll teach you all there is to know about charging and testing this Odyssey Extreme battery. Initial procedures, and it's very important that we follow our safety practices and guidelines. Batteries can be dangerous if handled inappropriately. So let's go ahead and get started with our first inspection. We're gonna look at our battery case top, sides, and the bottom. We're gonna look for things like case cracks, bulging, and maybe even leaks. These can all be indicators that there was an issue within the application, such as overcharging, undercharging, or maybe even battery over discharging. These are all things we need to consider before we test and charge our batteries, as it could be dangerous to charge and test, such as the battery to our left here. I wouldn't recommend charging that battery. So let's go ahead and get started with our first test. We're gonna to wanna to use our digital multimeter set to DC volts. We're gonna ensure that our battery voltage is at least 12.6 volts or higher. Once we make sure that that battery is at that range, we can go ahead and move to our next step, which is battery testing. Twelve point eight seven volts. We're good to move on to our next step. Battery testing, and we need to make sure that our battery tester is capable of testing a thin plate pure lead battery. Go to odysseybattery.com, select support, and then literature. From there, you'll see our recommended charger and tester listings. This will give you the most accurate and reliable test results. So let's go ahead and get started and test this battery. We need to make sure that we have our brass post test adapters installed and clean. They need to be fully seated on the battery's top post pad. From here, we can go ahead and get our battery's test information in. This battery is 1150 cold cranking amps. It's a thin plate pure lead battery type. And we can go ahead and start our test. Remember, our battery's open circuit voltage needs to be at least 12.60 volts or higher. If it doesn't meet that threshold, we need to go ahead and charge our battery before we test it. This battery tester will test things such as state of health, state of charge, cold cranking amps, and internal resistance. This battery, it passed the test. We can go ahead and move on to our next step, which is our half load CCA test. Our half load CCA tester is a carbon pile tester. And essentially what it does is it'll load down the battery's half CCA for 15 seconds. And if the battery stays above 9.6 volts or higher, it passed the test. This battery is 1150 cold cranking amps, so we'll crank in 575 amps into our battery. And we'll go ahead and set our timer. If our battery voltage stays above 9.6 volts, the battery passed the test. This battery stayed up around 10.2 volts. We passed our test. We can move on to our next step, which is battery charging. Battery charging. We're going to be using our Odyssey shop charger. It's already been optimized for use with our thin plate pure lead batteries. Just go ahead and connect the battery charger to the battery and allow it 15 seconds to analyze the battery's internal condition. From there, it will complete three phases of charging, bulk, absorption, and then float. After charging, this battery needs to rest for 24 hours to allow the surface charge to dissipate enough for testing. This will give us the most accurate test. Our battery charger needs to be at least 10% of the battery's amp hour rating. This is a 100 amp hour battery, so we would need a battery charger of at least 10 amps or more. 
Thank you for attending this training today. I appreciate it. My contact information is on the following slide, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.